hi guys this is chef Jin academy so welcome back to another video in this video we are going to be discussing about rcw reinforced beam design most time we are referring to a w reinforced beam using the design chart the design chart is limited but due to its simplicity and fast result it is it can also be used in design of sections so what do we mean by a singly reinforced section a singly reinforced section is a section that requires only tension reinforcement we all know that concrete is good in compression so we require reinforcement to support the tension part induced by the load on the concrete section so when a beam is heavily loaded so sometimes it's required both tension reinforcement and compression reinforcement so that is why you can see on this picture we have a singly reinforced section that requires only the main reinforcement is at the bottom for a simply supported beam and then you provide anger bar or minimum reinforcement just to provide support for the shear links so but for a w reinforced section you have to provide two reinforcement one for the tension reinforcement and the other one for the compression reinforcement so you have to design for both tension reinforcement and compression reinforcement and exactly of this is usually found in beam section so the design chart for design of w reinforced section can also be found in bs 8110 part 3 if you check the description of this video i have left the link to download the the design code the design code is just charts that have been generated in order to design singly reinforced w reinforced and column so you can also check my video on design of RC column using the design chart and also design of singly reinforced section using the design chart for a w reinforced section the chart is always like this so you have the design parameters which include the compressive strength of concrete you have the fy and you also need to determine your d prime over d so these are the parameters from the concrete material then the next thing is so this parameter we did give you the kind of chart to use you can see in this picture this is chart 18 so we have a series of charts depending on the fcu and the fy then another thing you also need to note is what we call x over d this actually depends on the redistribution but i don't want to dive so much into that part of the video so but according to the code we have only three options so we have the 0 0.3 that is 30 percent redistribution we have the 0 0.4 that is 40 percent redistribution we have the 0 0.5 which is 50 percent redistribution so for those of you that are conversant with structural analysis and design you know most of the time we use 15 percent or 30 percent redistribution so for this video i'm just going to stick with 30 percent redistribution and the meaning of this is according to this chart you can see if you look vividly we have three set of for 30 percent distribution you have some dot, dot dotted lines so these are the dotted lines so it is the one that you are going to use to check your tension reinforcement then on the graph along the left hand side you have the moment over bd square this chart is only used to determine tension and compression reinforcement so you have the moment over bd square then along the horizontal axis is your is to determine the tension reinforcement along the vertical axis to the right is to determine the compression reinforcement the tension reinforcement is denoted by as the compression reinforcement is denoted by as prime so for you to read this table we are going to take a couple of examples so that you understand but the first thing you need to note is the parameters of your design to determine the kind of table the charts to use so you need to determine your fy your fcu and your d prime over d so let us take a look at a typical example so that you can understand clearly how to use the design chart so if this is your first time on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate we've hit about 2000 subscribers on this channel 
thank you very much for subscribing but if you've not subscribed and you are deriving value from this video kindly hit this subscribe button and turn on the notification this actually help us in creating more content Chevron Academy we talk about structural design and civil engineering design which also include infrastructural design so you can check out our website chevronacademy.com for more content on civil engineering so back to the work example so let's look at a beam so let's say our beam size is 225 by 450 beam then assuming a bending moment of 200 kilonewton meters is exerted on it then let's assume our fcu is 30 our fy is 460 then what we have to do now is based on our f1 and fcu the next parameter we need is d and d prime in order for us to be able to select the kind of chart to use so from the parameter given we can say our b equals 2 to 5 then the height of the beam is 450 because the beam is rectangular in section so because of that we can now determine d d is the effective depth of the tension reinforcement so it's always equals to height minus cover minus half diameter of bar minus shear links because in this case we are discussing about beam so assuming a cover of 25 and a bar size of 16 mm and a shear length of 10 mm you are going to end up with 407 millimeters so the next thing you have to determine is your d prime d prime is the effective depth of the compression reinforcement so it's equals to cover minus diameter of bar over 2 minus length so in that case we have 43 millimeters taking the same cover diameter of bar and length so the next thing you have to evaluate now is d prime over d d prime over d is going to be 47 divided by 407 so at the end of the day you have 0 0.1 approximately this is not in millimeters it does not have a unit so therefore now we can now determine the chart to use so our fcu is 30 our fy is 460 d prime over d is 0 0.1 so then but before we go to the chart let us evaluate our m over bd square which is the last parameter we need so m over bd square making moment taking moment of 200 kilonewton meters your b in this case is 225 your d sorry your d is supposed to be 407 not 450 so at the end of the day you have like 5 newton per millimeter square so this is all you need in order to you to design for the tension and compression reinforcement of the beam. So the chart is always like this. In reading the chart, we have m over bd square on the left hand side along the vertical axis. We have the area of tension reinforcement along the horizontal axis at the bottom. Then we have the area of compression reinforcement along the vertical axis at the right hand side. So you can see that the, our parameter aligns with what we have. The FCU for this chart is, this is chart number 6. The FCU for this chart is 30. FY is 460. D prime over D is 0 0.1. So we want to calculate the tension reinforcement AS and AS prime for this beam. You can see this is a w reinforced beam the first thing you have to read is your m over bd square but before we do that our m over bd square is 5.4 so this is 5 this is 6 definitely this is going to be 4 and this is 2 so if you read it you have to read it against x over d of so if I zoom in the chart, you see that this is x over d of 0. Point. You see we have 0. 0.3 is dotted lines. So this is the first one, 0. 0.3. You can see the dotted dotted lines. Then we have the hidden lines, which is this 0. 0.4. The dashed line, which is 0. 0.5. So the lines become bigger as the value of x over d become bigger. So but what we needed was for we needed just for 30 percent so if you read 5.4 against 30 percent which is going to meet around here then you now trace it down 
to determine the area of tension reinforcement so the determine the k for tension reinforcement this is you just read m over b d square against the dashed lines so in this case we are using 0 0.3 so you read it so this gave you this is 1.5 this is 2 definitely this is 1.6 so this falls between 1.5 and 6 so let's take this to be 1.55 so then for you to now determine your as prime so when the value of your uh of your reading falls below this zero curve it means that your your section does not require compression reinforcement that's the meaning so when it falls between this zero curve and the fork off that means it requires tension re and compression reinforcement so what do we have to do now is this is our curve zero you, you now have to read the intersection of these two because it's by interpolation this is the curve zero and this is curve 0 0.5 so if you look at what we have you see that it's around curve 0 0.5 it follows curve 0 0.5 so let's say it falls around here where i'm overing my mouse if you say it falls around there so that means you now have to interpolate between 0 and 0 0.5 from your you can use a ruler to measure and then do interpolation to determine the curve to use but just looking at the curve that we have you can see that the factor of the tension reinforcement is 1.55 that of compression reinforcement is 0 0.5 so in that case we stick with 0 0.5 for the compression reinforcement and for the tension reinforcement we stick with 1.55 so that is how to read the curve the graph you determine your m over bd square you select the right chart then you read it against the this dashed line in our own case we are using 0 0.3 as x over d because you know the neutral axis has to be limited so using x over d which is the, fo the first dashed line at the top so you read it against then you transfer this down to determine the your k value for your tension reinforcement then this is the curve for your compression reinforcement these curves so you need to check which curve does the intersection falls into that is where you now know your k for your compression reinforcement so from the graph now we can see that this is for our te compression tension reinforcement we have 100 as over bd making as the solid of formula for the tension k equals 1.55 so substituting b and d we have 225 times 407 divided by 100 and at the end of the day we have a, an area of 1419.6 millimeter 0.5 millimeter square so therefore we are going to provide five number of 20 reinforcement in two layers we are making it in two layers because the size of our the width of our beam is 225 so it can only contain three reinforcement in one layer with so that the concrete will be able to pass through and not cause any comb during casting then for the compression reinforcement you know we have 100 as prime over bd equals to k k in this case is 0 0.5 so substitute b and d so substituting b and d our as prime is equals 457.9 providing a reinforcement of three three number of 16 mm in one layer so this is how to design a double reinforced section using the design chart so but before we end the video let us look at the detailing of this exercise so to detail this is just simple you have a simply supported beam this is 5y20 or 5t20 at the bottom around it is provided in two layers so we have three then we have two on top of it then at the top we have three number of 16 mm which is arranged like this so i hope you've been able to 
learn how to read the w reinforced chart according to bs8210 if you've not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification you can like this video share with your friends see you in the next one